So Final Fantasy VII PC lies to you in the graphics settings. Right now, my game should be running at 4K and basically 120 hertz. That's its target. You can see my GPU usage is around 100%, uh, 100% so it's working as hard as it can. It looks like it's hitting 120 FPS. Great, but look at that chain link fence. And now I'm going to change something that should not change what the chain link fence looks like. I am going to change the frame rate limit, okay? The frame rate limit does not say that it's a dynamic resolution scaler, but it actually is. If I drop this down to 60 FPS, this chain link fence now looks significantly sharper. If I side by side this in editing, you should be able to see the difference and I can zoom in on it. So if, even if you're not on a 4K screen, you should be able to see the difference. This is a huge difference. And honestly, the resolution scale looks pretty good. So it's nice that it has this feature. I love that it has this feature. But what I can't stand is the fact that it doesn't tell you that it's doing this. So you might think the game is, is you know, looking great at your native monitor resolution, but it actually isn't at your native resolution. So you might, turn, now here's the other thing that's so frustrating. There's no way to have the game have an unlocked frame rate where it just runs at a native resolution and doesn't try to dynamic scale to your frame rate target. And it also only has these targets. So this is incredibly frustrating to me. What they absolutely need to patch into this game, although who knows if they ever will, is make this clear what it is. This is a minimum frame rate target with a dynamic resolution scaler, but it's also a maximum frame rate target. And unfortunately, there's no way to separate the two. They need to, to have those as two separate things, a minimum frame rate and a maximum frame rate. And they should also allow the maximum frame rate to be unlocked, which currently it isn't. Also, in general, Let's get an exclusive full screen option. Let's also give us more settings than high or low, please. Texture and shadows at high or low is literally it, other than how many characters you display on the screen. So while this PC port runs very well, it lies to you about the dynamic resolution scaling that's happening, and it doesn't give you very many graphics options in the first place. This is frustrating, and I hope that they patch it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section, and have an excellent day.